What color do I want my timing cover and valve covers to be? I got my timing cover and my valve covers from the engine shop. Now I have a few choices here that I could do. I could put these back on just like they are. They don't look terrible, but there's a few little scratches and I just don't know if I wanna put them back on like this. I could powder coat them or I could paint them. Now powder coating is a little bit more durable than paint, but if I paint them, I can do all the work and save myself a little bit of money. So since we're gonna be painting them, I need to get these things taken apart. These covers come off here. I'm gonna pull these studs out for the uh, filler neck. I'm gonna basically take everything off that I can get off. And then I'm going to sand and prep everything for paint. I'm also gonna be taping everything up, all the machine surfaces, because I don't wanna get overspray anywhere where it shouldn't be, especially on the bottom side of the valve covers. It's because there's a lot of passages on the back side of this that are trapped that I, if you were to sandblast it, sand would get inside those crevices and you wouldn't be able to get it out. And that's not the kind of stuff that you want inside your engine after you get it rebuilt. So let's start prepping these things for paint and then we can pick out a color. Time to start taping. I need a razor blade so I can cut away this excess tape. So the diameter of this 10 millimeter socket is the same size as the bolts that go, these little machine finished bolt holes. So take a 10 millimeter socket, take a piece of tape, set it over the circle, and I'm gonna use the socket as a template. Take your razor blade, cut down. And you can peel it off. And cut your little circle. You can put it right here. And that covers up your machine surfaces.
In hindsight, it might have been a lot faster and easier if I went ahead and just bought some circle stickers the correct size instead of cutting them all out of tape. Uh, I guess it's true what they say. You live and you learn. We've got all the parts set up on the table. Everything is scuffed and the majority of everything is all taped up. I do need to tape the stuff down to the table so that overspray doesn't get underneath it and get on the backside. But we're gonna do finish that up tomorrow because it's getting pretty late today. We're also going to use a scuff pin and scuff all the crevices that I couldn't get with a scuff pad or a small piece of paper. So we'll do that all in the morning and then after we do all that, we'll get everything wiped down and then we're just ready to start spraying the next day. Parts are in the booth, everything is sanded, everything is taped up and wiped down and ready to spray. The first thing we're gonna be spraying on there is gonna be PPG's DP50LF, and this is a non-sanding epoxy primer, and it mixes two to one to half. So it's gonna be two parts primer, one part DP401LF, and a half a part reducer, and in this case, it's going to be acetone. Now, you don't have to reduce it, but we're gonna be spraying this on as a sealer. So reducing it makes the product a little bit thinner, makes it lay out a little smoother, and that should make the end product really, really nice. So this has an induction period of 30 minutes with this hardener. So we're gonna get this mixed up, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then we can spray it on the panels. We've got our epoxy sprayed on there. Everything looks really good. We're gonna let this stuff flash off for about 20 to 25 minutes, which will give us time to figure out what color we wanna paint it. I'm leaning towards the blue, and I like the blue on these AN fittings. This is an anodized blue. Now they don't make a paint code that matches it perfectly, so what I'm gonna do is take some blues out of my cabinet, and I've got two 
that are pretty close. One's a little bit dark and one's a little bit light. So what we'll do is we'll start mixing them together and try to come up with the perfect uh, ratio of the dark and the light to try to get something as close to this as possible. So I think I got a blue that I like. Now I'm mixing the darker and the lighter together, the perfect ratio to come up with something close to this, and I think I've got it close enough anyway. So let's get that in the gun, get it sprayed on these panels, and then we'll check this to the panels and see what it looks like. So I've got the blue base coat in the gun. Let's go ahead and get it sprayed on these panels and we can check the color. All right, so we've got the base coat sprayed on there. We ended up putting four coats of this blue on there. I gotta tell you, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's go check this uh, anodized fitting next to the panel, see what it looks like. So I'm happy with this blue. I think it matches pretty well. We're gonna let it flash off for another 15 minutes or so. Then we get our clear mixed up, put in the gun, then we can start making this stuff shiny. All right, so we've got the clear in the gun. Let's go ahead and get it sprayed on there. We're gonna be applying two coats with a 15 minute flash time in between. Let's go. So we got our second and last coat of clear sprayed on there. Man, that stuff looks really good. You guys can go check it out and let me know what you think about that blue, especially with the clear on it in the comment section. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this clear gun cleaned out, get this paint suit off, and we'll let this stuff dry overnight. Now we'll come back in the morning, get it all untaped and get the stuff taken back to the engine shop. That way he'll have everything he needs when he puts the engine back together. And I gotta tell you, I can't wait to see what this thing looks like all put together. I have never tried yoga, but I have tried bending over to pick up my keys. I'm pretty sure I don't like yoga. All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Spraying on the inside of these. I had an option to have the MB covers for doing all the work myself. I get to save myself a little bit of money and myself, myself. Landed and today, so we're gonna come back in tomorrow in the morrow. Huh. Kind of a blue, what is this called? <whistles> Let's go ahead and get this stuff sprayed. See what, see what. 15 more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and